The United for Ukraine program announced by the White House, which will give up to 100,000 Ukrainians humanitarian parole in the United States, is now in effect. But what that means in the meantime here in Tijuana, where we are just steps from the U.S. border, is that Ukrainians arriving at the U.S. border with just a passport will no longer have their entry requirements waived and be granted humanitarian parole here, arriving in the United States. And what that means is that for those people who have arrived here at the border and didn't arrive at the land border with the US here, just south of San Diego, by Sunday night, that means they are now stuck in Tijuana and looking around for what to do. And that is a serious issue here because Tijuana is not the most safe city in the world. It's one of the most murderous places on earth. 2,000 murders citywide last year and the situation for Ukrainian refugees who don't speak Spanish, many of them speak very little English. It's not a good place to be and we're talking here with the volunteers here at what was and continues to be for the next two days the migrant camp here at a sports stadium just steps from the border on the Mexican side about what exactly these people are going to do now. So we're here with Vlad, he's one of the organisers here of this uh, migrant encampment here, this refugee camp for specifically Ukrainians here in Tijuana. Vlad, what's it been like here over the course of the past couple of weeks? So it was a hard time for us as well, but uh, it was easier because people that they know that they had the chance to cross the border and right now we have here 82 people and they know what to, they don't know what to do right now at this moment it's a little bit chaotic the people are unsure and scared and that's the situation everybody have tons of questions and they don't know what's going to happen to them tomorrow or even today or next month or even next year that's about the situation today and in may 25th there was people who was still coming here to Tijuana and when we start telling people that maybe you're not gonna cross the border they will start crying you know because it was hard time for them and some of the people they had seriously two hundred dollars in their pocket and they said it was a family and they said we don't know what we're gonna do so this United for Ukraine program is now going to require a sponsor in the United States, something that not all the Ukrainians here have family, friends, who, those people who are going to vouch for the people coming into the US. And of course, Ukrainians and people in the US aren't necessarily going to do that on behalf of someone they don't know, because it's their own reputation there that's on the line. So what people are telling us here is that this new United for U Ukraine program is, of course, going to be more difficult to get asylum in the States compared to simply how it was last week arriving at the border and showing a Ukrainian passport and as you can see here these are the sheets the blankets the pillows from all the beds from the thousands of Ukrainians who have passed through here this this place is now being packed up and within the next two days this will return to being a regular sports stadium and people here are unsure about what exactly they're going to do and we've been speaking to them. This new program, it's hard. Uh, because for people who, who don't have friends or like uh, relatives in the US, it's difficult. Uh, in two days we need to go to Mexico City and we should be there uh, for further news. So it remains an extremely difficult situation for the Ukrainian refugees here in Tijuana. Tijuana is a city which is used to migrants. They come from all across the world here to plead asylum at the United States border. They come from Central America, Mexico, Haiti, from all across South America, from Africa, from Asia. They all arrive here and this latest demographic of refugees, Ukrainians fleeing the conflict in Eastern Europe, are now no longer permitted to enter the United States without all those proper entry requirements. So we are expecting in the coming days for the Ukrainian population here to leave, but where they go and join the rest of the Ukrainian diaspora around the world remains to be seen. I'm Alastair Bavostok reporting for CGTN in Tijuana, Mexico.